Good evening. This is a video response to uh, Lee Pollock's video on the John Birch Society. And one of the things, one of the ways to destroy the truth is to reveal yourself as the devil himself. No one listens to the truth spoken by a child molester. It doesn't matter what they've said. They, uh, their history, prevents the truth from being coming the truth. It means that anything that they say is a lie. And it's considered as such. And it's not even considered to be valid. The John Birch Society may or may not have been captured by the KGB. But what they have accomplished, if it has been ca uh, captured by the KGB, is that they have turned Americans away from freedom and a constitutional republic. Good work. Personally, I don't give a crap whether the devil himself were to come to me and tell me that 1 plus 1 equals 2. It's still the truth. I don't care who says it. Okay? Same applies with freedom and, uh, and, and money. You know, it's clear to me, it's crystal clear that freedom works and socialism, doesn't, socialism does not. It's clear to me that paper money is is slavery and real wealth comes from real things such as gold and silver those are absolutes and I don't care who says it it's the truth now I'm not a member of the the John Burt Society and uh, my video that I presented last which was called the titled uh, Thank you, Obama, for continuing the democracy. Was uh, originally recorded by the, the produced actually by the John Birch Society. Now, I would like to dis I'd like to know what's your feelings on it. If you if you find out, let's just let's just say that the John Birch Society is controlled by the KGP, controlled by communists. In fact, does that invalidate? the desire to move America towards a constitutional republic? Does that mean that uh, America should not be a constitutional republic? Please, help me understand that. 